I wouldn't be too heavy with it though, because if you're too heavy with it, it, it will really get, um, it will clog with the charcoal. So what I would do is I'd keep it fairly light. I would hardly um, put too much pressure. I wouldn't get great big wadges of ink and splosh it all over the charcoal, because I think it might, it might make it less effective. Um, but you can do things like, if you dip your bigger brush in there, you can really kind of drag like that. It makes quite interesting marks, doesn't it? Like, like that. Yeah. Well done. Well done. You got into your own little world there, haven't you? <coughs> I think that's quite a strong drawing. I would think about the sense of the arm. The arm still appears a little bit flat. If it's, if it's, if it's dry enough, or if you can work into it more, I keep thinking in a structure. If you go up and look at Natalia again, go and look at the figure. But this is the best place you can be. Because look, look at now look at her arm. Can you see the whole shape of that? Yeah. Can you see this side? Can you see this muscle? Can you see her elbow? Yeah? Yeah. And it's, and it's the nearest thing to you on her body. Really? Yeah? So you need to draw that. And if you, if you measure it a little bit, you'll get the scale. Yeah? Yeah. So just enlarge it a bit and pull it towards us. Okay. And then you'll get that distance. And then I would compare that to the marks that are going on there and right in perspective into the corner. That's really going to help. Okay. Yeah. Some things I've never seen before, which is surprising. Given the very basic elements yeah. that, that's the currency and language of what students use, like cylinders, holes, squares and that, there's an infinitely variety of what you can do with it. Just given a limited amount of tools, limited amount of uh, kind of shapes, limited amount of materials, there's still stuff that still appears to be a surprise to everyone, really. Fine art project was, um, was really, really wicked. It was, uh, I, I really enjoyed the freedom of it, especially like after, on the second day after we went to the gallery. Like, firstly, seeing the Francis Bacon exhibition, and then like, and he was just like, right, off you go then, just go on. And it was kind of just like, you know, it's been let loose almost. And it was, um, it was really good because that's what I'm used to. Or what I like doing is just being able to. I mean, and the the tutors gave you the ex, kind of the, the tuition when and where you needed it. And so, if they thought you needed pushing in the direction, I felt that they were always there to um, to help me. Also, because we're doing it to a soundtrack, yeah. um, you kind of need the storyboard so you know what shot's going to be where in time to the music, because we yeah. know the accents of the music where we want the camera to change, yeah. but now we need to decide who's going to be in that shot, what the angle's going to be. But it took us a hell of a lot to yes. get around the storyboard. Yeah. But it, yeah. So you need, all you really need is just a simple backdrop. I mean, we discovered this a bit later because we you know, created a really quite complex one for the first scene. But if you've got something simple like that, then it's the you know it's the characters in the front which yeah. uh, which animate and which. Oh, look and at the pig! The monkey and Sybil the pig. His tail. Oh, it's. I love Lizzie. Lizzie's amazing. Yeah.
Tell us how you started planning the space. Planning the space. Yeah. We kind of wanted it completely open plan, so we decided to get rid of all the walls. I think what's great about that is the sequential nature of it and it's really understandable. And I think it's really leading her to think carefully about the subtlety of her processes. And I think if someone's looking at that in an interview context, they're going to really <laughs> understand the clarity of their thinking. I think one of the things that's successful about your tiles is that you've, you've picked up on that kind of rustic imagery, things mm -hmm. like you know chicken wire and, and straw and, and so on, but you have contained them within a very geometric form, and, and therefore these are two kind of contrasting elements, and putting them together has made a really interesting kind of collision for what we're about <laughs>
And so in the sense in your evaluation you mentioned organic, uh, fluid, liquid compositions. Mm. How do you feel about the paintings now that they're on the wall and you can see them in front of you in the exhibition? I feel that they're maybe actually not that fluid. Not as fluid as I would have hoped, I'd say, this one. I think I started the wrong way because I think I should have maybe started from a central point, like many of my drawings have got a vanishing point, and then all the fluid shapes work out from there, so there's more of a sense of where it's flowing from. Because this kind of looks a bit, everything, so all the shapes are kind of clashing into each other, and it looks a bit more like a car crash of colour. <laughs> I quite like that about them. Yeah, I think cool. they're very powerful and engaging works. Um, where are you going to go next year? For I'm your going degree? to uh, Wimbledon Main School to do um, fine art painting. We're going to do. So hopefully I'll take some of these skills I've learned here with me. We're going to mark. I'm going to do in and out. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Tell me a little bit more about this sense of containment. Um, why did you choose using these particular cabinets? Um, these cupboards are from when I was younger, like they're from my bedroom at home, so they're like relevant to me, they're like personal, so it's a way of sort of keeping everything together, it's like a sort of way of letting go of things as well, by giving them a place in like time, yeah. And you mentioned in your proposal that the, everything started with the suitcase. Um, yeah, first of all I started out with um, some photographs that um, basically this, um, that I found at a car boot sale, so the whole, that suitcase there was full of these photographs that someone had just left, like they'd either died or something like that from a house clearance, but it was just odd that someone's whole life was like trapped in this suitcase, so I started out by logging those, um, but then I kind of moved away from that because I wasn't, it wasn't personal enough for me, like I couldn't really draw enough from it, to sort of, and also I was talking to Nick about it, and I made this book that had all the photographs in it but it became rather than just being a concept I made it like aesthetical instead so it kind of like deferred from what I'm actually doing and made me realise that I want to actually make something that looks good as well as just not just being a concept alone and I think that's what I've learned from this project is sort of that actually even though I, I obviously have a lot of ideas and I do like work like writing about my work that it still has to look good like it has to have some sort of Excessive. like yeah aesthetic to it. I took a lot of sort of part-time courses and then I thought the foundation course would be a good year to see do I really want to commit to a BA because I thought worst case scenario I do the foundation year and it's a great year and I decided it's not for me so it was kind of a taster year for me. Okay and how, how has the experience been? It's been fantastic because it, 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 it's completely changed the way I ever thought I would approach um, creating art and so that's been fantastic. It's really lovely in there. I know. I think we should use that one. That one goes behind. That one looks like. Oh, yeah, that one. Drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. Yeah, the other oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, we're <laughs> 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 oh, oh, no, 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 it's sagging, it's sagging, it's 
Okay, let's go this way. Okay, we have to move your hand. Yeah, no, I'm just using the fishing wire. Just use yeah, fishing line. Yeah, use the fishing wire. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take the hand away from that <laughs> microsecond. That's a good wire. Oh, cross your hands. Yeah. <laughs> for creative use of spaghetti. Yeah. <laughs> 